to be. You see, Chulu had a future ahead of him. And that future was taken away from him by this police officer. Today, the family of Anthony Jose Vega Cruz is demanding justice after a Weathersfield officer shot and killed him. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Dennis House. And I'm Denise DeCenzo. The family has hired a very high profile attorney and along with the NAACP, they want answers. But the officer's lawyer told us he acted in self-defense. Channel 3, Shante Passmore is live at Weathersfield Police headquarters with the newest information for us. Shante. Dennis and Denise, right now, the family wants to know whether the police department or town were aware of this officer's back, back background check. Right now, new revelations show he raised red flags at another police department. National civil rights attorney Ben Crump quickly fired back today on reports that Officer Leal Ulizer repeatedly performed poorly under stress at Manchester Police before working for Wethersfield PD. He cited a line from a 2016 report. That if he did not improve his work performance that he was going to either hurt himself or he was going to hurt someone else. Known for representing families in high profile cases like Trayvon Martin's, now represents Anthony Jose Vega Cruz's family. Records show Ulyser underwent remedial training. Channel 3's law enforcement analyst, Lieutenant J. Paul Vance, who spent 43 years as a state trooper, says records don't always tell the whole story. It's not uncommon for an officer to have to go back for a remedial training session. Uh, when they make an error, uh, but quite frankly, uh, it's not it's not a regular course of business either. Typically, Van says applicants must undergo a background check and a psychological and polygraph test. But the only thing the Cruz family wants to know is their day in court. I want justice, and I want him, you know, to serve the what pay for what he did. That's all. On April 20th, Ulyser was one of two officers who attempted to pull over 18-year-old Anthony Jose Vega Cruz. State police say the officer suspected his car was stolen because the license plate on the car didn't match what Cruz was driving. Investigators say only Ulyser shot Cruz, but both officers are on leave. In a release statement, Ulyser's attorney said his client's use of deadly force was justified against Cruz. If he had at any second decided to comply, he would have suffered no harm. One on one, Crump pushed back. Well, often when they kill unarmed people of color, the first thing they do is try to blame the victim. And we pressed the town's officials about the officer's background check and the police department's requirements, but neither would comment with the ongoing investigation to this police shooting. Live in Weathersfield this evening, Shante Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.